My name is Mayanna Hibbert and I am the granddaughter of the late Touch Hibbert. Uh, I just wanted to let everyone know that we are all devastated at the loss of my grandfather. He was an idol. He was one of the pioneers of reggae and um, he will be dearly missed. Greetings and love. I'm Stephen Cat Corp from the Third World. I just wanted to say that um, it's been a tremendous loss to the world. Uh, Frederick Toots Hibbert passing, but all of us have to pass at some point, and um, it's very sad every time. And I just believe that the angels in heaven just have a different view. You know, it's it's sad to us here. Um, as a musician, I have seen the outpour of pictures and posts on all my social media platforms between me and my father. People of all ages, colors, sizes were his fans. And I think it's really beautiful at the amount of people who knew and loved my grandfather. Uh, I'm very sad myself and um, he'll be dearly missed. But the, the, the volume of work and the effort that he put in in his life I would just wish that I would be able to say I did anything close to that. And um, I'm wishing his family love, respect, and honor. And um, I'm wishing the whole world, who is going through a really terrible time right now, I'm wishing you all love and respect. And God bless Tootsie Bird. Um, his voice will never rest in peace. It will always be annoying us. <laughs> Big up to the Island Stage family and also special, um, you know, I don't even know if I said super special words for the one and only Frederick Toots Hibbert, AKA Naya, you know, Regin and Teach and, you know, so the vibes of this whole, um, you know, everything that's happening in the world and all of the great legends we're losing. It's really tough, but Toots being a bridge, you know, and the type of positive music that he always did and the type of positive irate he was in terms of being a, just a man. You know, the world definitely take a big lick and the, the reggae music vehicle take a big dent to lose Toots, you know. Um, one of my fondest memories with him is, is sitting in the, in the dressing room in Paris after a show and each of us smoking about an ounce of herbs and reasoning until him get into the Jedi uh, reasoning style. <laughs> yeah. Big up, Naya. Greetings, this is Dr. Dredd from Ross Records. I'm here today to talk a little bit about our friend Toots, who we knew better as Naya. I knew Toots early on from my days in Jamaica and got to know him much better when his manager, Mike Keisha, took over because Mike and I were very good friends. One of the best memories I have of Toots is we would play pool together quite a bit. Whether in Kingston, New York, Washington, California, Toots was obsessed with beating me at pool. So it was always fun when we would get out there and we'd egg each other on and play pool late into the night. And eventually I got a pool table at my house and Toots would come over and we played pool. I was asked to share some of my experiences with Toots, who we fondly call Naya. Um, it's still a very rough time for me to even talk about it, but just to honor him in whatever way I can, it is what I want to do. The memories are so much, so many memories, so many memories, but I will try to cut it down to at least three and it's like so hard to find even just three. But uh, let me see. I know that he had this way of calling every one of the band members, including myself, by our names cut short, but doubled up. Let me explain. Um, because I'm Twiggy, he used to call me Twig Twig. So he would come up to me and say, 
hey twig twig <laughs> i can't remember i can't just hear his voice and I, sometimes he will run into you like uh like he's gonna give you this big beer hug and then he will just he will fake it and we just laugh or he will really give you that big bear hug, you know, like, hey, Twig Twig, are you okay? I really miss that smile on his face and stuff. One of the biggest honors for me is when I was recording an album of Bob Dylan songs, reggae style, Toots agreed to do the song Maggie's Farm. He did an amazing version. Many people consider it the best song on the album. And I have a beautiful photograph that my brother, Mike Keisha, took of Toots and Bob Dylan when they met up on tour in Scandinavia. Bob was very honored to take a photo with Toots, which is unlike Bob Dylan. Another experience is uh, the fact that he was such a fatherly person, kind, loving, you know, always wanting to share whatever he has. So, I mean, even when we were on tour, he knows that I love food. Don't look at me and think that I don't. I really do. And uh, he never made me pass him or not ask me if, I am, if I've had something to eat, if I'm hungry, whatever. Even in Jamaica, if we meet up in Jamaica, he'll say, do you have money? You have enough money? Yes, 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 Naya. He'll be like, okay, come, come. We, we have to give you some more money here, you know. But you have it not enough. Also, um, he loved to share fellowship uh, like hanging out in like really you know nice restaurants and stuff he loved to eat with us and watch us be happy and all of that i remember on several times on tour especially in europe when uh he would just take over the kitchens in europe because in europe sometimes it's so hard to find food and he would just surprise us he would just take over the kitchen order a lot of salmon or whatever it is and he would cook the best curry coconut salmon with coconut rice lord the food is good the, i mean shelly nice rice everything and then he would just call us eat in our rooms and say come down to the restaurant for dinner and then we realized that we were having a home cooked meal from naya himself and that was one of the most awesome moments. We would all enjoy and laugh together. And then another time, if it's not that, he would take us to, he would find restaurants in Europe and anywhere we are. You know, let us order whatever we want, wine, anything on his bill. And then he always used to say to me, Twig Twig, you must tip well here. I'm like, yeah, he says, anytime you have a good waiter or a good waitress, tip them good you must always tip them good all right so i'll never forget that because he never faltered on that never ever ever and uh great memories of toots he was a loving caring person and he always had time for everyone that's the most beautiful thing i can say about him he always had plenty of time with fans backstage and anyone spent a lot of time with him promoted shows with him miss him dearly still feel his loss and i'm just really glad to know that all of us had a chance to get to know him through his music or through him personally and i know that toots and mike are hanging out together now and blessings to my brother naya and thank you for sharing this time with me he was very witty Lord, it was funny, <laughs> hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Everything he said, every other word was, was a joke. Even if he was trying to be serious, every other word was like a joke. You know, he was always making us laugh. I mean, uh, it's, it is just so much to think about and, you know, so many good memories. And that is what we have to hold on to in order to keep our hearts filled with joy when we think about him. You know, sometimes I think about him you now and, and even though I want to be sad, I will just find myself smiling, smiling a lot because, you know, I'm just laughing, just laughing for nothing because I remember some of the things he used to say and some of the things he used to do. Um, you are greatly missed, Naya. You're really, really missed and um, we love you and um, 
your legacy will continue on and you will always be in my heart and in everybody else's heart. And uh, we pray for your family and for, for all of us. You stay, uh, I was gonna say you stay blessed, but you were blessed and you blessed all of us over the years with your talent and with your showmanship.